In this video, I'm going to give you what I would consider to be the best build for Mouth of Sauron, so stick around, let's get it. Welcome back to CO Gaming. In today's video, we are going to do Mouth of Sauron. We're going to give you the best build. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, to start things off, we are going to go with the Harbinger of Darkness line. So, first two rounds, allied and enemy units, damage minus 75%, max effect, active effect, extended to three rounds. After you put those 15 points there, we're going to do Enfeeble against enemy subject to Madness, damage received plus 40%. As you can already tell, we're going with the Madness build from Mouth of Sauron. Uh, I think this is good, just, just going to be the line to go. I have figured out most recently that the Madness on Commanders is... It's pretty epic. It's it's an insane build on several different commanders. So this is the line we're going to go with. After you put those seven points in Enfeeble, let's go ahead and jump up here and put seven points in Master of Mischief. Uh, you can technically put those, those seven points in before you do Enfeeble, but against two enemy units inflicts Madness. Defense minus five for one round. Uh, once you have kind of finished that tree, you will jump over into your Respect 5 tree, Lieutenant of the Baradur. That is going to increase your Orc and Troll damage. We are going to run Orcs and Troll units with this build. Put all 15 points there. Go ahead and max out Orcish Warlord. It's going to help with your speed to, for your Trolls. So... And it's going to give you some, some damage received debuff. Uh, put that 7 points. Then do Dishearten. Enemy units. Damage minus 3%. It's going to be higher. Put all 7 points there. After you have put all of your points into these two trees. You can choose either of the other two trees to put points in. Personally, I would do Messenger, first five rounds against enemy commander, normal attacks, damage minus 6%, damage minus effect persist for entire battle, once if you manage to max that out, uh, I just I don't think that the point difference is going to be enough, I mean I guess if you win here, then normal attacks inflict an additional 10% focus damage. You can do that. It really is your personal choice. I don't think you can go wrong either way. Uh, outside of that, like that is the skill build. Of course, it is a Respect 5 build. You do got to have Respect 5 to do this. There is other ways to build this if you don't, but you just you kind of go off the same baseline. You know, instead of going here, and doing Lieutenant of the Bear Dur, you would, you know, possibly go into the Messenger line a little more, uh, get that silence for disruption, and then do shutdown. Or if you don't have Respect 3, you know, just max out both of your Respect 1 trees. I don't think that is a sufficient build uh, for PvP or PvE. I uh, feel like for PvP, you really need Respect 5 for Mouth of Sauron to be good. Uh, without that, let's kind of jump into some gear. Uh, I'm in the process of going into my new campaign, so I don't have a lot of gear on different commanders at the moment. But, you know, as far as a weapon goes, you can't go wrong with a melee plus damage cutlass or... You know, I mean, it just, it's really up to you. I mean, Battle Axe has the same thing. Just all depending on what you, you want to go with for purple gear. Uh, for a chest, you can do a counter type fighter. So, if you were running into a lot of Witch Kings, then, of course, run a burn damage reduction. Uh... You can't go wrong with a focus damage reduction, depending on what you're fighting. If you're just trying to stack, you know, Miter Focus, 
go with one of those is you know melee damage received debuff uh this one right here scouts mail never a bad one that that evade chance is is tremendous uh outside of that you really can't go wrong with with any of those pieces they're all good they're all gonna they're all gonna work in terms of things so helmet uh with it being a madness build i would probably go with a madness helmet i feel like that's going to be your best option the more madness the better the chance you can inflict it the higher damage you're going to do so madness in my opinion far as a helmet goes you definitely should have a madness helmet on pocket item if you're not running gold equipment which we all know i don't really go over gold equipment in my god videos because not everybody has it it's not easily obtained so uh i would personally go with something like this uh maybe not evil men allied units but something that's going to do a damage reduction a heal either one of those is, is going to be key uh probably heal i would say i mean it's there's not a whole lot of options unless you get into the gold gear so any of them that heal is going to be your go uh drums of moria will be a good one because you get that extra army attack for melee so that will be a good one as well just just whatever you want to do if you want to heal put a healing one on if you want to do some extra damage go with the drums of moria your choice there is no wrong way of doing it that's all i can say about that as far as troops go we will be running orcs and trolls whatever orc you want to run it really is your choice there there is no right there is no wrong just orcs and trolls is the main thing that you're going to want to do of course you're going to want to do mountain trolls if you don't have a troll t4 so do those mountain trolls and then just use an orc use reapers use you know whatever you want to do as far as orcs go find that that sweet spot for you yeah i mean some people might say you know they did better with mountain trolls and reapers well that's gonna be based off of what gear you use uh you know if you use a ranged orc of course you, if you got all melee gear for you know attack and defense then that range unit's probably going to get destroyed it's a sweet spot find what your gear suits you run those troops and that's where you're going to get your best results so orcs trolls that's your troops that's that's really all there is to say about it so if you like this build if you find this build really helps you then smash that like button please subscribe to the channel Appreciate all your support. Until next time, see you out.